Hello everyone, I'm Sharice Pendleton and you're watching BTV and today I have the honor to be speaking with the City of Vicksburg Mayor, Mr. George Flags Jr. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. So, you've been in this position for about three and a half years now. Yeah, about three and a half years and uh, you know, it's a four year term. Okay, so just tell me, um, how do you feel about this opportunity? I feel great. It was a lifetime opportunity. It's just amazing how you can grow up in a city, go away and uh, be in another form of government as in the House of Representatives for 25 years and then have the honor and the blessing to come back home uh, to be mayor of a city that you grew up in, that you love so well and so passionate about. What do you see as your three greatest strengths? Well, my three, three greatest strengths is being able to wrap the city around its greatest resources, uh, like the river, the rail, and the highway system, and, and around its uh, research laboratory such as Eric. Uh, early, and the uh, educational system and just pull the, the city together uh, and I think this was making this city uh, be the city it is now because we've been able to collaborate with all the entities of government, the Board of Supervisors, the Poor Commission, the Chamber of Commerce and everybody in the community to pull together to put them on one accord. What are your biggest goals, um, your personal goals and your career goals? Well my personal goal is to uh, be governor one day but for now uh is to be the mayor of the city and to be the best mayor of the city has ever had as humans we all make mistakes when you discover that you made one how do you handle it well you're right we all make mistakes but the key to it is never make the same mistake twice i'm an old basketball player and i learn from game after game uh and stretch the defeat game you learn more from defeat uh, and losing than you do from winning because when you're winning you ride high and you don't pay no attention But when you lose you have to reevaluate you have to analyze and you have to uh, Set another goal and plan and I say it all the time as I say in the, as mayor your vision should never change Your strategy always change when you lose okay. How do you balance your personal life your family life and your career life? That's a good question. And how you do it is, is, is basically you do it like you say. You you let family be family. You let poli politics be politics. And you let the other things be the other things. And you always keep your, your mind, body, and spirit in the same location. When I'm mayor, I'm the mayor. Uh, of course, I'm the mayor all the time, 24 hours a day. I'm a family man 24 hours a day. And then I'm a, a product of the community. So if you just keep all of it in check and be the best you can be every day, then you'll be able to accomplish all at the same time and never try to be anything that you cannot be. How do you typically prepare for all your meetings? Same, daily. I start off by refreshing myself from a nice sleep. Then I go in my closet and I read my Bible. There are five scriptures that I read every day. Then I meditate. Then I pray with my wife. Then I go to the fitness center. And that's where I organize myself based upon a schedule that my office has given me the day before. And uh, I look over the schedule and I do a mental uh, run check through what I need to do for the day, a checklist of what I need to do for that day. And then if there's anything that I need in terms of preparation, it's in a file folder. I read it, go over it then. And uh, basically, that's how you do it. And if you organize and structure, you can get it done. Uh, one thing about life I've learned uh, in my 30 years of politics, everybody got the same 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. So there's no excuse. So are you satisfied with what you have accomplished in life this far? Am I satisfied? No, I'm content. Uh, you can never be satisfied. Satisfied is 100%. And when you're satisfied, that means that uh, it's over. That's all you can do. I think that's far much more than I can do for this city. Uh, I believe that if we had a better structure of government, uh, had a better uh, progressive charter that I and give me more authority, that I can do more on a day-to-day -day base. Uh, I think there'll be more oversight, there'll be more accountability, and I think it actually will be a saving to the city. Okay. So just tell me where did you grow up? I grew up right here in Vicksburg, 205 Local Street. Never will forget it because uh, at five years old I had one of the most traumatic things that ever happened to me in my life. I got uh, caught uh, uh, between a, a space heater and myself and I, I was burned uh, severely uh, pretty bad and uh, caused me to stay in the hospital about six months. So I will never forget that address. In fact, when I ride by that street today and that house, I still see it. But you know what? It uh, it allowed me to grow 
with a, a true understanding that he's an awesome God and that I can overcome anything uh, if I just set my mind to it. So what I do now is just stay focused and stay in faith. What do you love most about Big Spirit? It's beauty and it's people. Regardless of what people say, we have some of the best people. Uh, that, and I've traveled 42 states in about 14 hours uh, in my lifetime. And I've met some of the best people right here in Vicksburg. They're the most hospitable people you ever want to see. They're the most caring people you ever want to see. They're the most giving people you want to see. You just have to be able to, to interact with them. If you had one superpower for a day, what would it be? Uh, to have the authority to come and see the hall and do whatever I want to do for a day. Cool. <laughs> so what is one thing that makes you happy? Uh, make me happy. Uh, as I started off the day at uh, South Park Elementary, talking to some fourth and six year old kids, talking about their future, talking about who they want to be and, 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 and telling them how they can be there and giving them the, the opportunity to know they can be anything they want to be. Children excites me because they are my future. Yeah, and I, I hear you talk about that a lot. I love in, children. In the public about the children. And the thing I like about the children in Vicksburg, and I like about the adults in Vicksburg, we interact our children. Uh, I come from a, a old traditional Baptist uh, church, uh, whereas that in Sunday school we had to get up and recite uh, uh, books of the Bible. We had to recite uh, passages of the Bible, scripture of the Bible. And uh, I just think that in order to grow children and to get children to understand the importance, you have to interact with them, you have to utilize their talent very young, uh, at a very young age. And when we do that, uh, we, we, we tend to prepare them for their future. Well, is, I, I'm, I'm done with my questions. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, other than the, uh, it's, it was an opportunity that, that uh, was destined to happen because I asked God at a young age to allow me to be mayor of this city. Of course, it took me two times. You know, I ran in 1997, and I lost, and I lost because I never probably should have ran run in the first place. Uh, we had a good mayor at that time, and I challenged uh, one of the previous mayor, uh, but I learned from that. I learned from some time, and I hope this be a lesson to future uh, politicians. Sometimes you have to take your time and take the stairways rather than trying to take the elevator to success. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right. Well, Mayor Flakes, I, I appreciate you speaking with me. And if you would like to know more information about our mayor, please visit the city website at vicksburg.org. Also, make sure to like our Facebook page at VTV Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm Sharice Pendleton. Thank you for watching.